Thank you guys for all the love and support on the last video I did. It seems like you guys have been really enjoying the Stizzy content recently and all the other content too, which is awesome. So we've started February off fantastic and I cannot be more grateful for how amazing of an audience you guys are. That being said, I am super excited for today's video because it is the return of the tiny batteries. Now, if you guys don't know, or if you're new to the channel and you don't remember back in the day, back when I was a hemp YouTuber and reviewing hemp and CBD products all the time, Canna Aid, who's one of my favorite brands who actually makes the shirt that I'm wearing right now that says D8 and chill, um, Canna Aid, they used to use a battery for their vapes, their two gram and one grams that were made by iCrusher that were absolutely fantastic. And they were those little tiny vapes, the most portable kind of like easy to hide away vapes vapes out there. And today I found a company in Michigan who has them and they're at an affordable price. So I'm going to be introducing you guys to Fruit and Fuel, which is made by Pincana, which is a pretty large superstore dispensary up here. And this one in particular is their Gorilla Glue number no. four, a classic kind of strain. And what I really like about this brand is one, their packaging is on point. It's super minimalistic, but it still has color. It still has a little bit of fun to it without it being like too childish or too over the top or looking fake, you know what I mean? But one of the things they do is that they distinguish their products by fuel or fruit. So their sweeter, fruitier vapes or their sweeter, fruitier pre-rolls or whatever are going to be their fruit series. And then the fuel series is more of the gassy and those like really heavy, funky, diesel-y, whatever. And by the way, guys, this is a two gram disposable. So it is a pretty big disposable, honestly, which is awesome because you guys know the Canna A two gram batteries. I used so many of them, reviewed so many of those strains. But yeah, enough talking. Let's break this open and see what it's all about. Alrighty, y'all. We have our two gram disposable opened up here. And I will say one downside is that this packaging has to be open using scissors. I had to cut it. I can't just rip it open, which I personally like it when there's just a little bit of a perforation strip to be able to rip it open or just not have to use scissors because not everybody has scissors on them. And, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, there's some people, and I can't say that I'm the best about this either, who will buy a vape and then open it in their car and then drive off. Now, that is against the law. I do not recommend doing that. Please do not drive under the influence of any substances, not just THC, but alcohol, any of that. Don't do that. That is bad. That is a big no-no. But at the same time, I know for a fact that I cannot control those people. So. It's one of those things where for their sake, it would be a little bit easier if you just made a little bit of a perforation strip on there just to allow people to tear it open. That being said, if you're trying to prevent that, then you did a good job because I mean, nobody carries scissors in their car, I don't think, unless you do. And if you carry scissors in your car, let me know down in the comments below because I don't think I carry scissors in my car. Maybe part of a first aid kit, but who wants to get a whole first aid kit out just to open a vape? You know what I mean? Anywho, let's go ahead and get a rip of our Gorilla Glue number four. Cheers, y'all. Off the bat on the inhale, I'm starting to get a little bit of a piney taste, a little bit of a funky taste, nothing too crazy, but it's definitely got that like cannabis taste to it. It doesn't have like an artificial flavor or a fakeness to the taste. It definitely tastes like kind of like a Gorilla Glue. And this battery pulls so well, guys. Like genuinely, these little guys pull better than most disposables on the market. And it's surprising because it comes from Crusher. You know what I mean? Like Crusher is not one of those brands that I think of when I think of high-end batteries. I think of C-Cell, I think of Silicon, I think of AVD. Those companies are the ones I think of when it makes high-end, better hitting, better tasting products. But these little guys right here, probably Crusher's best battery they make, in my opinion. Also, this is extremely smooth. Like I'm getting basically no harshness on the back of the throat. It feels pretty smooth. The flavor isn't overwhelming. It's not the strongest taste in the world, but it's definitely a good Gorilla Glue. It tastes like the strain. It doesn't taste like they're trying to imitate anything or they're trying to fake anything. And I appreciate that. Overall, I personally like vapes that taste like weed. I want my weed to taste like weed. If I wanted to try something that tastes like a fruit smoothie, 
I would vape nicotine fruit smoothies. You know what I mean? Personally, as somebody who does use nicotine, and if you do not use nicotine, don't start using nicotine personally. I don't recommend it to people, but at the same time, I've been in the vaping industry and this kind of stuff for a little bit longer. And so it's just kind of something I picked up with the trade. My main thing is that if I want weed, I want weed. If I want nicotine or something fruity or flavorful, I'll just go buy some e-liquid or a disposable nicotine device. You know what I mean? Like. I want my cannabis products to taste like high-end cannabis products. And this does a good job, you know, at the end of the day, for what you're getting, this is a $30 two gram disposable. I think it's probably one of the cheapest two gram disposables right now in the state. And I think for the price, you're getting a really solid product, honestly. It's almost like a flashback to being back in Georgia, reviewing Can-Aid products, to be sitting here in front of my camera talking about these guys again but no overall this battery fantastic and i know it's just distillate but this is a pretty good vape i'm gonna have to give this i'm gonna say a 7.5 out of 10 i think this is a really solid vape and i'm really curious about how their fruity ones taste because i wonder if they went the same route and used the actual cannabis drive terpenes and the actual cannabis flavors for their fruity ones or did they use like over the top super fruity artificial flavors so maybe we do a review on one of the fruity ones, maybe not. Let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, tell everybody about the channel because we are growing at a rapid rate. And now our new goal is 10,000 subscribers. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.